Well, well, well. Let us see what is the next object that Blender developers have given us. But before going further, what you need to do is go to Edit, and in the Preferences tab, select the Preferences, and in the Preferences window, what you need to do is go search for Add-ons tab, and here you search for Extra, and you get this Extra objects, and tick this off. And what you are going to get with that is if you now go to add, go to mesh, you get this extra objects. So today we are going to see math function, complete math function, Z math surface. What this is going to do is it is going to put an equation and how that equation is going to represent itself in the 3D. That's how this equation is going to represent itself. And we have got subdivision in the X axis, in the Y axis, how many subdivisions you want. You, if you want you can increase the size in X axis let me increase the subdivisions a little bit so this is how it will be this is how the equation is going to be visible and along Y if you want you can increase the size along Y as well so that's for the Z axis let me go to the next object XYZ math function so this is also same as the prior one just the difference is you get x equation y equation z equation three different equations and uh, you can put in the equations here and uh, it is going to show us how that object is going to be visible in the 3d this is looking like a snail cover and what you can do is increase the uv min max to get a desired shape so in my experience it's uh, just about the snail shape if you get some other shapes let me know in the comments so this is the second thing and let me show what is the next thing math functions and regular solid what this is is it's a tetrahedron it will show tetrahedron let me put it custom and no snubs and let me switch off this dual it is a tetrahedron hexahedron there are a lot of features here octahedron dodecahedron icosahedron you can increase its size you can change its vertex turnication you can change its edge turnication this is how it is going to behave if you want the snub to be left sided snub or right sided snub do you want to keep it dual do you want to keep the size as it is after keeping it dual so for that it is given and uh, in the presets there are tons of presets given by the blender developers one more thing if you want to cycle through a lot of things in blender throughout blender what you need to, what you need to do is tap and hold control key on the keyboard tap and hold control key on the keyboard and then just mouse wheel over this option you can cycle through that options you don't need to click and click and click so that's how you can cycle through all the different options the next option let us see what is the next option go to add go to mesh go to mass function and triangle we get this triangle the first option is isosceles triangle the next option is equilateral triangle isosceles right angle triangle and scalene right angle triangle most of these are related to maths one more thing here you get the scale how big you want the triangle to be faces do you want it to be normal do you want it to be tri faces three tri faces nothing will be visible here but if i go to the wireframe and from normal i go to three tri faces it is going to create three faces with triangles three quad faces means it is going to create three faces with quadrangle quadrangle means one two three four quadruple points and uh, this six quad faces is going to create one two three four five six faces with quadrangles and if you want you can flip it along x axis if you want you can flip it along y axis so that's it for this guys if you like this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you want to support me personally 
you can go and uh, support me through patreon page links will be given in the description and if you want to support me personally using the phone number the phone number will be given in the description through which you can support me using google pay phone pay paytm as well and with that being said and done try to see it learn it understand it i will see you in the next video